welcome to the video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I go about um, lining up and shaving my beard or goatee. It's been a few weeks since I last got a haircut and as you can see, the beard got a little scruffy. So I'm just gonna show you guys how I go about maintaining it and shaving it to the right length. All right, so I'm gonna be going for a dry shave. It basically means we're not gonna be using any water. So I'm just gonna comb out my hair and grab my clipper. I'm using an electric shaver here. And first, I'm just gonna knock down the hairs on the sides. You wanna knock down hairs on both sides and make sure that side of your face is well clean shaven and smooth. And then after that, we can focus on, you know, getting the actual shape of our goatee. We're going for like an anchor type of shape. So we just wanna knock down any, you know, excess hairs that might be connecting to the mustache and make sure we establish that rounded shape. Usually you wanna make sure it follows um, your chin structure. So it's like an oval shaped beard around. And next you wanna go to the bottom of your neck, knock down any loose hairs. Make sure that part is also clean shaven as well. Then for the sides, honestly you can leave it this way, but I like to shave down the sides as well. Make sure I get that perfect like um, rounded shape. But honestly, if you like a thicker beard, a longer beard, you can just leave it the way it was. And next, I want to make sure I just get, uh, you know, a clean lineup for the shape we're looking for. Get any of the loose hairs on the sides. I want to make sure you knock all of those down. Get a nice and clean shape. And then next for our mustache. Some people like to shave down their mustache, but I like to keep it full and thick. Um, I just like to give it a... You know, a light lineup that follows the top lip. It's around the same shape as your top lip. Just give it a nice lineup. No need to go too crazy with it. Give it a lineup at the bottom as well, just to give it that extra sharpness and, um, you know, make sure it's on point, you know what I'm saying? Next is their sole patch. Honestly, this you can shave it off, but I just like to, you know, keep it clean, leave it on. Sometimes I shave it off, sometimes I leave it on. So as you can see, we've pretty much gotten the shape we're looking for. So now we just want to make sure we comb it out and, you know, uh, trim any excess hair from the goatee itself. This part, you want to be really careful not to leave a patch or a dent in your beard because that can just pretty much undo all the work you've already put in. So you want to be really careful. You can see I'm barely touching the beard. You just want to lightly graze over it. Just give it a bit more um, cleanness and knock down any loose hairs that might be sticking out. This part is also optional. You want to be careful with this if you're going to do that. And well, if you're happy with the beard, then there you go. 